Making Roblox thumbnails like this and this are super easy with just prompts using AI. DALI 3 has just released and it's a fantastic free tool you can use to generate things with artificial intelligence for your Roblox games. So I'm going to show you exactly how to access it for free. So you want to first of all head over to Google here, head to your search bar and search in Bing Image Creator. Then just click on this first link here. When you're inside, make sure to log in, and when you're logged in, you can use this little um, bar here and search in your prompt. Now, I'm going to say a prompt like here. I've written this earlier. You can copy this if you want. I want to create a sort of combat game, a sort of desert Middle East game, and this here is what I have written. Make sure you specify that it's a Roblox thumbnail. This is key. So if you don't, obviously, it'll just generate normal things, normal people. Um, I want to make sure it's holding a gun and a huge fight in the desert behind them. This here, these sort of words are really quite useful because it just expands on what you're trying to say. Okay, so then we press create with this button right here. And what this will do is this will generate us um, images. Okay, here we go. Here are our images. Now, these are generated really, really nicely. See this one here? I think that looks really cool. And this one here is also really cool now. I'm not a big fan of this one because you see here in background I have a realistic person although this probably looks the best with a gun um, I don't want these sort of people and here I think this one's probably my favourite I think this looks the most exciting now what we can do is we can now expand this to make this into a thumbnail and we can also change imperfections now what we're going to do is we're going to head into Photoshop so let me grab that okay so here we are in Photoshop now we have our image here which I like now what we're going to do to first of all do is change imperfections. Now what we need to do is head to this select tool right up here. And I don't like see this player right here. Let me just bring myself across. I don't like this. This looks a bit weird. So what I can do is I can drag over this, use the generative fill, and just say remove this. Press generate. Now luckily with Photoshop it generates on device. So I'm not gonna have anything sending back and forwards, no networks required. What we're doing here though is we are getting ourselves a nicer looking area. So there we go, that's done. He's been removed. I'm also, what I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of this sort of text down here. As you can see, let me just drag ourselves across. This text here looks, I don't know, looks like it might be a bit branding, so I don't want to put that on there. Um, go this, I'm going to say generative rule, remove this text just like that and press generate now what that now this used to be a beta feature but now it's available in the main version if you don't have photoshop you can get a free trial for it and get this done if not there is loads of free alternatives which do the same thing but i like photoshop so there we go now that there is my thumbnail done so what i can do is go to file and then export this as a png i'm going to put this into my downloads as um, icon now let's make a thumbnail so making a thumbnail is quite simple. We're going to use generative expand. So to do this, we can go to the crop tool and we can expand the image accordingly. So I'm going to do like this and go like that. And that there, I reckon, will have enough scaling for my thumbnail. We can then just press uh, this button here where we're going to input sort of what we put in there. So if I um, paste in what I paste before, I'm going to do huge fight in the desert uh, I'm gonna say cartoony because that's sort of what it's gone for the thing is with the Photoshop one as it's Adobe they don't have the information Bing does about Roblox so we can't really put Roblox in but then just press generate and what that'll do is it will expand our image allowing us to generate a thumbnail for our Roblox game as you can see this takes a very short amount of time it's very very effective I'm a, I'm a big fan um, Okay, here we go. It's added. <laughs> yeah, it's added a bit of a weird turn. I don't know what these things are, but I think it sort of gets the idea across. Maybe if I change this to just desert, it might change it. Okay, that's looking much, much better. These, yeah, these look really cool. I'm a big fan of this one, I think. That's a really cool thumbnail. So now what we can do is we add text in. So we press the text tool here. 
Um, these are quite cool. You can compress it. Let me just let's say, for example, with Desert Wars, just like this. We can then do center this. Um, make sure we have transform controls on like this, and we can then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it so it's behind this guy. But first of all, I'm going to do some formatting. So we have to click up here, then press blending options. Um, inside our blending options, let me just drag these over. Here we go. We can add ourselves a gradient overlay, um, a drop shadow. Okay, so we're now going to select this character here. So if we go to here, go to the magnetic lasso tool, and we're going to go around. Now, there is easier ways to do this if you're a bit more talented. But I like to just do this system here. It's quite useful. It's gotten really good with AI recently. So I recommend just following this round. Just like this. Okay, and with him selected, we're then going to go to Layer. The new layer via copy. Now this allows us to drag this new layer up to the top here. And we can drag Desert Wars down and it'll be behind him. And that looks really, really cool. And that is our thumbnail. And again, we can file, export as thumbnail. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.